before appearing for an interview brush Correct. up on the fundamentals of computer science later in february 2021 i joined hexaview technologies so i am currently working at salesforce as a salesforce technical administrator Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas guys I'm Kabir Singh and I'm here with another spectacular interview experience for you guys So today we're going to talk to Ritikesh and I'm going to tell you guys about an interview experience of a company called Hexaway Technologies So you know this is a company I have also not faced any interview experience of I'm curious to know how the interview experience goes for this company So let's talk to Ritikesh let's try and understand how many rounds were there what all happened in each and every round and also let's discuss the difficulty and everything of each round out there so let's talk to ritikesh hi ritikesh how are you hey kabir i'm good thank you ritikesh would you mind giving me a small introduction about yourself yeah sure first of all thank you so much for having me here and yeah hello everyone my name is ritikesh sharma and i have completed my post graduation from madan mohan malviya university of technology in 2021 with a degree in master of computer applications later in february 2021 i joined hexa view technologies as an application engineer and after serving there for one year and eight months i have recently switched to salesforce so i am currently working at salesforce as a salesforce technical administrator that's great that's great so moving forward to the actual interview experience of therefore hexab technologies i really want to know that how many rounds were there when you sat for the interview so kabir there were total four round of interviews first round was online written coding round and yeah. other rounds were technical round okay yeah that's great so let's talk about the first round what actually happened in that the first round started off with a written coding test on a skype video call where yeah. we had to write you know of two given coding problems on paper mm-hmm. and then had to take the picture of our solution and share it with the moderator okay the time allotted for both the programs was around 40 minutes Mm-hmm. and we were not supposed to write the whole program from scratch instead we had to implement the given function and had to write the time and space complexity as well okay so let's talk about the difficulty out there what would you rate the difficulty of this round or the you know questions out there what would you rate it for was it easy medium or hard so the first round comprised of two question as i said earlier the first mm-hmm. question was comparatively easy and okay. the second question was little bit tricky Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a kind of mixed uh, difficulty level. Okay, that's great. That's great. Now moving on to the second round. What actually happened in the technical round out there for the second round? Yeah. So after qualifying the first round of interview, we were given the technical round. It was also a video call on Skype. Mm-hmm. Uh, where interviewer first asked me to give my introduction, and then he asked some of the questions from data structure and algorithm. Okay. He further asked the questions from OOPs concept, uh, DBMS. Also asked one puzzle at the end. Okay. So this mainly, you know, comprised of the core subjects out there and some theoretical questions. It includes some, you know, generic questions like which data structure is best uh, between uh-huh. linked list or array, and compare the time complexity in terms of insertion, deletion, and search operation between right. array and linked list. Then okay. uh, some question also revolves around, you know, DBMS, like uh, write a SQL query to count the total number of employees in a table, and what is normalization. Mm-hmm. Okay. So again, what would you rate the difficulty of this round? It was a first round, so I would rate it as easy level. There was no such question that you cannot answer. If you have your fundamentals clear, then anyone can clear this round very easily. That's great. That's great. Okay. Now moving on to the next round. What happened in the third round? Yeah. So third round held same day after two rounds. Mm-hmm. The third round was a bit tough. The interview first started off with some fundamental questions from DSL Go. Then he asked some question from OOPs, DBMS, and other CS topics. Right. And then he gradually increased the difficulty level of the questions. Okay. At last, he asked me to write the code to print the pattern, which he gave, which I was able to do. So he was impressed, and uh, also he asked puzzle question at the end. Okay, that's I guess a bit identical to the last round, not exactly, but a little. Yeah, actually, all the rounds at Hexaview have some same pattern. Like uh, okay. they ask, uh, they start with some basic fundamental questions, then they go off with coding question, and then at last they ask one puzzle question. Ask the puzzle. Okay. The pattern that's is great. same in almost all the rounds. rounds yeah okay and now when i talk about the difficulty of this third round since it was a little identical i don't know if you found it to be 
equally difficult as well so what would you rate the difficulty over here so it was uh, difficult as compared to the first round in this round we were asked to write the solution of a coding problem given and with an efficient approach so yeah it was a uh, difficult as compared to the first round okay 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 not an issue now moving to the final round what actually happened in that yeah so the fourth and final round was uh, technical plus manager round the interviewer first asked me to send my resume to him in the chat and then he asked me questions related to my projects and his skills by looking at my resume he then gave me two coding problems and asked me to write the optimized solution in one go okay then at last he also asked me one riddle okay and again what was the difficulty yeah so it was as compared to other rounds it was the most difficult one okay because he was expecting me to write a optimized solution in one go so yeah it was a tough one so you know i guess what i can figure out with this is that when you sit for an interview at xview the difficulty keeps on increasing with the rounds like the first right. is very easy and then it gets a little difficult then more than more and finally the last round that's the most uh, difficult out there but uh, that's a great interview experience out there rithikesh and i guess you know it went pretty smooth for you so asking you one last question before i conclude this interview experience is that what would you actually advise the viewers or you know any tips or tricks you would like to give your juniors who are watching this video so that they can get a good placement and they can you know have a very straight forward target towards a very very good placement what would you suggest them? i would suggest someone who is appearing for coding interview that preparing for a coding interview can be a challenging task especially if you are a fresher with uh, little or no prior experience in computer programming however with proper preparation and practice you can increase your chances of success in the interview so i would suggest that before appearing for an interview one must review the basics like brush Correct. up on the fundamentals of computer science such as data structure algorithms right. and programming languages mm -hmm. and make sure you are comfortable with concepts such as array linked list trees and graph and solve as many coding problems as you can to improve your problem solving skills and coding abilities you can right. find a wide range of coding problems on uh, websites like lead code geeks for geeks and coding ninja is also there right Maybe i would suggest to add a good project in your resume that's great rithikesh and i really thank you for coming up and you know helping us out with this interview experience and your guidance out there so i hope the people watching this video might you know take it in handy while they're sitting for interviews also guys if you want to read this article out which rithikesh has written out for our website so basically this interview experience he has written out as an article for us i'll be putting the link in the description below you can always go and check it out and also read out the problems you can solve the problems over code studio and have fun learning so thank you so much for watching i hope you liked the video hit the like button and the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one happy coding guys